small signal stability analysis of the interactions between voltage source converters and DC current flow controllers. Section 1. Introduction. Voltage source converter, VSE, based multi-terminal DC, MTDC, system is the preferred solution for grid connection of large-scale offshore wind farms, as it is the feasible option for long-distance submarine interconnection of passive and weak systems. For the sake of discussions, Figure 1 shows a generic topology of MTDC AC system, which consists of the CFC integrated DC network and the VSE based AC DC converter integrated AC network. The AC network includes multiple synchronous generators, G1 to GN, multiple VSE converters, VSE1 to VSEN, active or passive loads, and or transmission lines. The DC network consists of DC power flow controller and DC cables. Previous publications on small signal stability analysis of VSE MTDC have been focused on the dynamics of VSE, top blue area in Figure 1, while some other papers have been focused on DC networks with DC power flow controllers, bottom green area in Figure 1. However, there is a lack of a considerations of these two systems integrated simultaneously using detailed models, and hence the potential interactions between them. With the increasing installations of VSE HVDC systems and power grids, the investigation of controllability and stability of MTDC systems becomes important for it benefits the existing AC systems with a means of increased energy trading between interconnected system operators. The generalized dynamic model of VSE MTDC was derived in reference 7. Advanced control extensions with distributed DC voltage control were developed in reference 10, and a supplementary decentralized control structure to damp inter-area oscillations was proposed in reference 11. Frequency support function for the surrounding interconnected AC systems and adaptive droop control for effective power sharing through MTDC system were presented and well analyzed in reference 12. Electromechanical transient modeling of MMC MTDC was studied in reference 14 to provide the theoretical foundation for future MMC MTDC applications. Small signal stability analysis has been widely used for the study of system dynamics and controller design for VSE. In reference 8 the small signal stability analysis has been carried out for a symmetric bipolar MTDC grid, where different modes and interactions between AC systems and VSE, following various disturbances were characterized. In reference 9 small signal stability analysis was carried out to define the stable operating ranges for the gains of VSE controllers that ensure the dynamic stability of MTDC system. Wind farm generators were considered, and a method to calculate converter controller gains was provided. In reference 12, an adaptive frequency droop control was proposed by investigating the sensitivity of eigenvalues with respect to different droop coefficients, control parameters and changes in operating conditions. In reference 13, small signal stability analysis was used for the design of an adaptive droop control scheme. In reference 20, a method was introduced for systematically identifying interactions of modes in a VSC MTDC system by analyzing the participation pattern from different system elements. A DC power flow controller with the use of full bridge DC DC converter, which is a relatively small, inexpensive, and low loss device for DC power flow management, was proposed in reference 21. In reference 23 a DC power flow controller was presented to regulate the power flow. In reference 24, the design of a CFC, along with its control strategy, was proposed which is capable of controlling the DC branch currents to transfer power from an overloaded branch to an underutilized branch to minimize the power loss. Small signal stability of DC network with CFC was discussed in reference 25. A parametric analysis scheme for optimization of control gains of CFC is proposed in reference 26. The characteristics, modeling, control, operational performance of different configurations of series connected CFCs are studied, including dual thyristor converter CFC, cascaded VSC DC chopper based CFC, and dual H bridge CFC, 2B CFC, in reference 27, and resistive based CFC. RC circuit based CFC, and capacitive based interline CFC in reference 28. Distributed CFC, which is based on series interline CFC with extended and simplified topology proposed in reference 29, is presented in reference 30 to reduce overload in DC grid with lower CFC voltage and increased operational area compared to 2B CFC when properly located. A coordinated droop control strategy and droop gain evaluation of multi-line CFC is proposed in reference 31, and coordinated operation control between multiple CFCs is presented in reference 32. Small signal stability of DC network with CFC was discussed in reference 25. 
However, in the work in reference 25, BSCs are represented as constant current injections, and hence the interactions between CFCs and VSCs cannot be studied. The published papers on small signal stability of VSC MTDC systems have mainly been focused on the dynamics of VSEs, while there is a lack of considerations of DC networks with CFC. And there is also a lack of analysis on the potential impacts of DC power flow controller on existing MTDC system in terms of network stability and dynamic performance under disturbances. Hence there is a real need to fill in the gap of the interactions between DC networks with CFC and AC-DC converters, even more broadly, the detailed representation of connected AC networks. The aim of this paper is to fill in this gap of the understanding of the interactions between VSC and CFC, and the main contributions of this paper are summarized as follows. In the studies, the detailed mathematical models of the integrated AC-DC system consisting of CFC, VSC and AC synchronous machines have been fully implemented. The mobile analysis is used to characterize modes via participation factor matrix of the integrated AC-DC systems without with CFC, investigate the impacts of CFC on the integrated AC-DC systems, and design the proposed methodology to derive stable operating range of CFC. The interactions between CFC and VSC are investigated via eigenvalue trajectory studies and dynamic stability analysis. The small signal stability analysis results are validated in RTDS against small and large disturbances.